Hello and welcome back. To Whistler's see that in Salem, there might be another person of interest in Allie's rape case. While obviously not being charged with the crime, given that he was literally not on his mind at the time, Steve could have been the culprit, Estebano. Dual viewers remember that even though the deadline is approaching, it works. Stevano first arrived in Salem in November 2019. It was then that Hope had been Princess Gina for several months. It has not been revealed where Stevano was before arriving in Salem, nor exactly when the brain chip was implanted in his brain that transformed Steve into Stefano de Marion. Stevano could very well have been in London in October or early November 2019 when Henry was conceived. Keep in mind that this would have been after the one-year jump, and Steve could have been implanted with the chip as early as November 2018. Stevano sent Kayla the divorce papers at the end of 2019. Stefano would have been guilty of the commission of the crime, but the DNA and other genetic material would have been Steve's, therefore matching those of Tripp and Henry. Steve may have another son. He doesn't know, but with whom? If Tripp has a brother and Steve is not the brother's father, then Henry would match the brother, but it would be through mitochondrial DNA, through their mother. To be fair, Steve's DNA has yet to be matched to Henry's, but with the trip pairing, no one would think there would be a reason to. There's the question of why Stefano, Stevano, allegedly raped Ali, or even been to a club in London frequented by college students. Stevano loved his wine and his liquor, and especially his cigars, but why this club? Neither Ali nor Tripp said this is a club exclusively for college kids, but they'll go pretty much anywhere they can party and have fun. As for Stevano, we know his inner Stefan wasn't happy with Steve Johnson's outer body, and maybe he just wanted to go out and get drunk. Then again, a drunk Stefano could have been a Stefano who missed being with a woman. It is not because there is snow on the mountain that there is no fire in the furnace, but there's another thing to consider. Ali is Marlena's granddaughter. Maybe the real plan was to kidnap Allie to join her grandmother, whom Stefano really wanted. He could have followed her and targeted her, but why did the rape take place? Especially with Stefano, 90, in the body of Steve, 50, and Allie, 20, at the time. And in fact, his step-granddaughter by the EJ's marriage to Sammy? Chances are with the mixture of a possibly drunk Stefano, a confirmed drunk Allie, and Stefano's limbido outweighing his common sense, the rape was a kidnapping plot that hurts. Turn and Stevano had no goons available to kidnap her. Remember that it was not yet time for him to reveal himself as Stefano. Thanks for watching. Goodbye and see you again.